Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm coming to you once again with another one of my How to Build Your Own Perfume Collection series. Um, I think this is video four or five, I'm not really sure. I think this is video number four. But anyway, make sure you guys go look at the other videos I've made um, on this series of, once again, How to Build Your Own Perfume Collection. Um, so basically what I'm doing is just giving you guys different options for, for perfumes, uh, whether it's $5, $25, whatever the cost is um you know different options that you you know may have to build your own perfume collection so let's go ahead and get into it you guys know me i don't want to make it a long video so all right so this collection of perfume as you can see it's all by the same company ead i think they probably pronounce it uh ed or ed not really sure but um anyway so let's get into the um haul of perfumes choices that i have for you all right, and let's first start off by saying all of these perfumes, all five of these perfumes, these are all, I bought all of these from the Dollar Tree. That's right, the Dollar Tree. They are all a dollar. All right, let's start with the first one, which is 2.5 fluid ounces, as you guys can see, and it is the floral code. Um, and once again, as you can see, it is their impression of the Armani code by Giorgio Armani. And I'm sure you guys have seen the imitations before, different types of imitation perfumes. So that's what this is. All right, and the next one we have um, is the their impression of the Princess by Vera Wang, as you guys can see. And that is also 2.5 fluid ounces. And this one is called Her Royal Highness. I think that's such a cute name. All right, and the next one we have, let me move these back. And the next one we have, um, this one is Amore Amore by, is that uh, Cacero? Um, and this one is called Pour Me Belle. I guess that's the name they gave it. And once again, it's their impression of the Amore Amore. All right, and the fourth one we have is the lovely lady is what they're calling it it's their impression of the lolita limpica by lolita limpica lovely lady 2.5 ounces guys and this last one i got was a little bit larger than the others um but it's still 2.5 i guess the box is just a little bigger anyway they call this hmm ledger domain i don't know what you're trying to say but in is, anyway, it's their impression of the fantasy by Britney Spears. Their impression of that. And that's Ledger Domain. Ledger Domain, whatever. What are they trying to call it, y'all? Sounds like something fancy. Anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and get them open, guys, so we can see what they look like. I'll start with this one first. That is a nice bottle here. Look at that bottle. It's really nice and I've smelled them all guys I, I was able to, of course to smell them before I bought them at the Dollar Tree and these are the ones that I thought smelled amazing and the best so this is the fantasy their impression of the fantasy by Britney Spears and let me see ledger I don't know what they trying to call this thing but yeah, that's what this one is. It smells good, guys. It smells real fruity, real sweet. And I love it. I love the bottle. You guys know I love those clear see-through bottles. Really nice, guys. Really nice size. Only a dollar. And the smells last. They really do all last. So I made sure, you know, to check that out as well. So, but yeah, that is the Britney Spears one. Let me bring you guys back a little bit. See if I can back you guys up. Okay, let's move on to the Amore Amore, their impression of Amore Amore. And as you can see, their bottles, they're all pretty much, you know, the same. Not really the same. This one's a little wider, but their tops are the same and everything. I think that's really cute. Put the bottle behind it so you guys can see. All right, there you guys go. You can see better that way. All right, so. Let's do some of the other ones. This one is Her Royal Highness. 
Princess, their impression of Princess by Vera Wang. So look at that one, look at that bottle. That's pretty, I love that purple. The bottle's all cute with the little crown. I like that one. Okay, let me go back. The um, Britney Spears impression one, that one smells real fruity, real sweet. Um, this one right here smells like flowers, like roses. And this one right here smells like a, kind of like a cotton candy kind of smell, you guys know? What I mean, like that little sweet cotton candy smell. Smells really nice. I love this one. This one, unfortunately, it is. It's my favorite. I love all of them. I think they all smell nice. But if I had to pick a favorite, it would be this one. Her Royal Highness. And it's their princess, uh, their impression of the princess by Vera Wang. Smells so good. So good. Hold on. Let me back these up so you guys can see. All right. Box closed here. Smells so good. I can smell them now. All right, let's move on to the Armani. Their impression of the Armani Code by Giorgio Armani. And they're calling it Floral Code. It's like a black bottle. Kind of like a, it is a black bottle, but I guess the perfume is purple. So it's showing up purple. And as you can see, all their tops look the same. All their tops are the same. And I like it. Nice, thick. Thick, hard plastic. Um, now this one is more, uh, it's got a more stronger smell. Um, it's sweet, but it's kind of like, you know, almost borderline masculine. I mean, of course, it's, it's for a woman. I mean, clearly it says it here on the box, for a woman. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of like, it's a stronger smell. Like a stronger flower smell. So. Once again, that is the Armani Code by Giorgio Armani. It's their impression, their impression of that particular smell. All right, and the last one, Lovely Lady, uh, their impression of Lolita Limpica. Lolita Limpica. All right, and I like this one too. I love the bottle. Nice, pretty purple. 2.5 ounces. Now this one, guys, this one smells more like um, like a mix between flowers and, and, and sugars. It's like they a whole bunch of sweet smells. They put they put it all together. It's a little strong, but I like it because once you put it on, the smell kind of lightens up, you know. So I like that. It also kind of reminds me of um a fresh linen smell. So that's exactly what this reminds me of. I don't know why, but it does. So. Once again, that's the lovely lady. Their impression of Lolita Limpica. So, yes guys, these are the five new fragrances I have added to my perfume collection, guys. Once again, just doing this series, guys, because you know what? I'm building a perfume collection, um, so I wanted to add to my collection that I have. So I just wanted to take you guys with me on this journey. I uh, also wanted to show you guys, you know, if you were trying to, um, even if you wanted to build a perfume collection, showing you different options. You don't have to pay $100 for perfume. My thing is, if it smells nice, why not buy it? I, I don't care whose name's on it. I don't care that it's Gucci. I don't care that it's um, all the big names. I, I don't care about any of that. As you guys see, I've got five here fragrances from the Dollar Tree. A dollar. These are the ones that I chose. They smell nice. I really like them. My choice, my decision. Um, just showing you guys different options. Um, this is my dollar video. Um, I've done a $5 video. I think I did a $25 video. Um, a little bit more pricier video. And like I said, I'll be doing different options. Um, some of the perfumes that I'll have will be uh, what you call expensive and what you call non-expensive. Whatever. I don't care. Whatever it costs. Um, if I like it, I'll get it. Um, so, yeah guys, just, that's what I'm doing. This is the series that I'm doing. Giving you guys different options, different choices. Um, letting you guys know, hey, it ain't gotta be name brand. As long as it smells nice. You know, that's all that matters to me. So, that's the only thing that should matter. As long as it smells nice and you like the smell. It don't matter because, let me tell you something. When I walk by you and you smell my perfume, first thing you're gonna say, if you like it, oh, that smells nice. That's, that's the first thing you're gonna say. I mean, that smells nice. You know, that's the number one thing people always say. When I'm out, people are like, oh, I love that smell. What is it? And I tell them, oh, it's this, it's that, and I got it from here, I got it from there. I mean, it doesn't matter. I've gotten perfume from Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, 
Walgreens, CBS, Ultra Beauty. Um, I've gotten perfume from Sephora. I've gotten perfume from all over the place. Online, Amazon. I've gotten perfume from all over. So you know what, guys? It doesn't matter. As long as it smells nice and you like the way it smells, wear it. Nobody cares. No one's going to know that perfume you have on costs a dollar. Nobody ain't going to know that perfume you got on costs three, four, five hundred dollars. Trust me, honey. Ain't nobody going to know that costs two, three hundred dollars unless you tell them. Okay? Anyway. So, all right, guys. Just wanted to do another series. This is the dollar series from the Dollar Tree of how to build your own perfume collection. And this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.